Tonight on the new CBS News series, Brooklyn DA, the macabre story of an illegal theft ring run out of a funeral parlor. And it includes a surprise twist. One of the deceased victims was a famous and highly respected TV host. Here's an excerpt. The fact that my father's body was stolen and chopped up is with me. I'm Susan Cook Kittredge, and Alistair Cook was my father. Good evening. I'm Alistair Cook. When my father first started doing Masterpiece Theater was 1971, I believe. His primary job for most of his life was that he was a journalist. I just see pictures in my imagination and hear saws and crunches. The, the case came into the office when a woman who had recently bought a funeral home in Brooklyn came in to complain that the former owner stole $300,000 from the funeral home. And then she brings up this donation program about bone donation that's going on up in an operating room. The rooms were old. And as you went up in this house, it got creepier and creepier until you got to this final door, which was on the top floor. Well, where's the locksmith? We opened up that door. The surgical light. And that was an operating room. It turned out was that there is a doctor who comes in, takes a deceased person who's being prepared for funerals, and he goes in and removes all the bones from the people's bodies. There's a big business for recovering and supplying bones and tissues for uh, eventual transplantation. And Michael Mastamarino realized that there was going to be big money to be made in this industry. Michael recognized that most people don't die in a hospital. Most people die in their homes and they get taken to a funeral parlor. And that a whole population of cadavers that could help people were being ignored. Once Josh realized the next of kin did not consent, well then we knew it was illegal. There was no question. This is a photograph of Daddy in the year that he died. He was no candidate for bone donation. He was in, in his 90s. He, had, he died of cancer that had metastasized to his bone. It's inconceivable to me that anyone would look at my father's body, particularly at his bones, and say, oh, these are useful. These could help somebody. But he still took the bones, and he hid this information from the processing company. Everything was a fraud. We found almost 1,000 bodies that were the victim of Michael Mastamarino and Biomedical's uh, scam. This was a business that made him a multimillionaire. And for the full bizarre story, watch Brooklyn DA tonight at 9, 8 central right here on CBS.